it's kind of interesting. Unlike most contemporary television, like Kojak or The Streets of San Francisco, uh, where you know pretty much what your adversary is. Uh, a New York policeman in five years' time pretty much knows what he's going to run into. I mean, the variations on the theme. I mean, if you're a New York policeman, you there aren't too many surprises in store for you. Whereas in this kind of a show, uh, traveling and hurtling through space, there's a... Uh, your adversary is something mind-boggling every week, and as a result, to relate to that on a level that uh, is not that far removed from our own, because 1999 is only 23 years into the future. I mean, we're not out there out of, uh, by choice. In fact, technologically and uh, emotionally, we're not really ready to go into deep space. It's an accident that causes us to do that. Uh, so uh, uh, it's kind of a interesting. I mean, there's an anthological aspect to it, which is kind of adventurous and fun. I mean, I, I think that's a very enjoyable aspect of the show. Well, I've always read it. Uh, I mean, not to the exclusion of other things. I mean, I, I grew up with H.G. Wells and Verne and Ray Bradbury and uh, uh, Asimov. I love... I, but I read a lot of things, and that's... Uh, it's part of what I've always read. I think it's a, it's a great literary form because a writer in a few sentences or a few paragraphs can create incredible worlds. Uh, one of the problems with doing uh, filming science fiction is not to disappoint. In other words, when you describe a planet with red sky and red water, uh, to have the budget, let's say, to, to uh, allow for... Uh, not to disappoint. Sometimes in the translation to film, you're, you're often disappointed because radio and, and, and the literary form often allows for more uh, imagination. Uh, I think one of the, the interesting things about this show, walking onto a new set that's been built, is, is, is not to be disappointed as a performer. And hopefully the audience, uh, the sun is going away. Uh, uh, hopefully the audience won't be disappointed as well. Well, I think... Uh, they're probably much more exciting than they were in the first series. And, and I think the thing that I like best is, is there's much more humanity written into the series, thanks to the, the addition of Freddie Freiberger to our family. And uh, uh, I think there's more humor. Uh, I think the first series had a lot of very good things going for it, but I think it, it, it did lack some of the things that I felt were essential. And... Uh, to people. Uh, for instance, Barbara and I, Dr. Russell and I, have a much clearer adult, physical, emotional relationship. And there's a lot of humor in the relationship. Uh, we f I find that this year, for instance, the, the dialogue is not interchangeable. There's a lot of cute and funny things. The addition of uh, Catherine Schell as our resident alien and, and Tony Anhalt. I mean, and their relationship is, is a very interesting one. Uh, and a fun one, in addition. I mean, and, and in times of duress, people do summon up humor. And the humor is particular to the people, as opposed to just being general humor. I mean, they're, they're not one-liners uh, that are just thrown in for, for laughs. They're the kind of things that come out of people when they're in trouble. And they're the kinds let's say the, the, the kind of things we say are, are, are much more in keeping with, with human beings in a situation that, that is uh, filled with all kinds of anxiety.